Welcome back to the Nourish series. So this morning, we're gonna be making another great twist on a comfort classic, which is some baked French toast. Um, and we're gonna actually add a little bit of a, a fall theme to this recipe as well. So this is just gonna be a really nice recipe, especially for our patients who might be dealing with nausea, post-treatment. Um, these starches will really help them to keep their weight stable and maybe something easy to eat if they're not really in the mood to be eating uh, meats or things like that. Sometimes those starches are a little bit easier to digest for them. So let's get into the recipe. All right, so we've got our six eggs in the bowl. Um, the next part of this mixture that we're gonna put in is we're gonna put about one to two cups of skim milk. So this is just fat-free milk here. So we'll first start with about half of this and we'll see if that's enough for our recipe. All right, we're gonna put about one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm actually gonna modify the recipe a little bit and just make it this nice fall theme. So I've put about half a can of pumpkin puree here. So let's go ahead and add this pumpkin puree in just to kind of add some of that nice texture and flavor to this, um, this mixture here that we're going to be dipping our bread in. All right, so our next step after we made our um, egg, milk, pumpkin, and vanilla mixture for our dip is that we have our beautiful loaf of French bread that I just got from the bakery. Um, so the reason that I didn't get a pre-sliced loaf is because you actually want the slices to be pretty thick for this recipe, so I wanna go ahead and cut it myself. So our next step is going to be to go ahead and dip our bread, and then we're gonna put it on our baking sheet. All right, so our French toast, our pumpkin-themed French toast, has been baking for about 10 minutes in the oven. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. I am so excited to eat this. I think this is gonna draw your whole family to the kitchen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place um, a couple slices of our beautiful toast here on the plate. I'm gonna do next my sliced bananas. So just take a handful of your bananas. You can go ahead and put it there on your toast. And then I'm actually just gonna finish off um, with uh, my little bit of seasoning here. Um, like I said, this is just a mixture of some cinnamon and some cloves. So I'm just gonna take a pinch of that and I'm just gonna finish off by sprinkling just a tad bit more onto our plate. All right, so here we have our finished product. We've got our baked pumpkin French toast, original credit to MD Anderson at the table. Um, so let's go ahead and take a bite. Again, this recipe is perfect for our patients who may be undergoing treatment, who may be having a little bit of nausea, difficulty eating, something nice and light and easy to eat. Um, but just also for anyone who wants to enjoy a nice fall favorite, and this is sure to be um, something that's gonna resonate with the whole family too. Mm.